unbelievable. What kind of person was David off of the stage? Tell, tell me something personal about him. Very, very kind. The humble. nicest person. Never talked bad about a person that mm-hmm. I've ever heard. And uh, we've heard other people have said this too. You know, in, in Waco and a you know, small town like this with a lot of you know, musicians, you know, you're always having somebody talking crap about somebody else. But he never, he, you know, he was the nicest guy. If you go to a gig and he's up there setting up and you want to go up there and talk to him, he'll take a second and he'll talk to you about whatever you want to talk about. Really? So, the, yeah. the one fun fact about David, however, and it's not negative, but the one thing, and I think we're not the only one who um, thought that, but he was very, very good at whether it was intentional or not at compartmentalizing people. So, for example, um, some people did not know that he knew this people, these people. Mm-hmm. And then so he was, you know what I mean? Like he was really good. Yeah, at- he had a group of friends over here and then he had a group of friends over here and a group of friends over here. And he was associated with a lot of people. Yeah, but was, people but, didn't know but about people didn't, each other. Didn't know. Like I knew David, you know. So he didn't do name dropping. He, he wasn't a name dropper at all. That and so, uh, you know, I have this other uh, YouTube channel show in the shed, and we started that about ten years ago. And with with my fr- friend Dave, and the reason I wanted to start it, or uh, you know, do this interview podcast show was because I wanted to get David Zajic's story because I'd always heard things, but he wasn't the kind of person to brag about, mm-hmm. you know, I didn't know they, what the airborne story was. I didn't know that he knew all these musicians had no idea, you know, but I wanted, right. but I'd heard p- bits and pieces because he wasn't the kind of guy that would sit around and just talk about, Oh yeah, I played with so-and-so back then. Oh yeah. You know, this guy, you know, yeah, he, I, I, we, we did music together. He was never like that. Right. So yeah. that was one of the reasons I wanted to do this. So he's humble. So this was 2015, so almost 10 years ago, and because I wanted to get his story down, and that sort of helped Anna like do the research mm-hmm. and and pick pieces of that interview to use in in the documentary. I, I thought I had a point to my story, but I guess. Well, I, and, and then, no, uh, you've made a point. 